I think before I start the video itself, uh, it's, it's worth giving you, you all some background on the facility itself. Uh, it's a very unique facility when it comes to South African standards um, and very atypical if you compare it to the other typical acute um, hospitals that we have in the country. So, for example, this facility does not have an accident and emergency or an emergency room. Uh, you can't walk off the street here and, and be sick. Uh, you either have to re be referred by another doctor to a specialist in the facility itself, uh, or you have to be one of the specialist patients um, who will see you, decide if you need a, an operation, um, and then you know you you will spend a few nights in the facility and then go home. Um, so it's a specialist um, surgical facility, a uh, hundred beds and five theaters, with one of the theaters being uh, a hybrid theater and. The facility focuses on um, ears and ear, nose, and throat operations, maxillofacial, neurosurgery, spinal surgery, uh, and vascular operations as well. Uh, the hospital has seven floors. The first three floors are, are parking. Um, the fourth floor is where you'll find the reception of the hospital. Um, and in that floor, you'll also find what you normally find in the hospital, typically radiology, the pharmacy, and pathology. Um, as well as a coffee shop and the initial doctor's rooms. Uh, the fifth floor has the remaining doctor's rooms, um, and then the sixth floor has the theater complex, um, as well as the, the beds, the ICU, high care, and, and the surgical beds of the facility itself. And then last but not least is the seventh floor, where you'll find the, uh, the, the hospital plant, uh, as well as two areas where either patients and uh, and their visitors can go outside and get some fresh air on the roof and have a snack. Um, but also on the seventh floor, you also find a different area where the doctors and nurses can also um, get some fresh air and have a snack as well. The view you see on your screen is um, the, the northern facade. Uh, this is how you enter and exit the facility itself. Um, and I think a, a very interesting feature of this is that design that snakes through uh, the heart of the building. Um, if you see it on the screen, that design there, uh, which is supposed to emulate um, the vertebra of the spine, uh, which I think is, 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 in my mind, interesting to put into the outside of the building, considering that this is a facility uh, that focuses on, on head, neck and spine. So, so you go into the parking area there. Um, on the first three floors, uh, and then you typically take the lift to the fourth floor. Um, this is the fourth floor where you find um, the reception area plus the other facilities. Uh, I'd like to pause there because uh, this is a very important feature of the building itself. Um, this particular facility has a five-star, um, it's a five-star rated green star building, uh, the first kind of rating of any healthcare facility uh, in South Africa. Um, and, in, and as far as we know, the first, um, uh, or the first of this kind of rating on the whole Af African continent. What does that mean? The design of the facility, uh, there was a lot of um, energy and water saving in mind when the facility was, was designed. And then I think even more importantly was, was around natural light um, to make sure that there's natural light that comes into facility. Uh, and studies have shown that natural light promotes healing um, for the patients, but also pr promotes the general well-being of the people working within the facility itself. Uh, video moving on to the reception area. Um, um, again, there a very important feature of the building. Uh, that's, that is the main atrium um, that really goes from the fourth area all the way up. And again, as you'll see in, in, in almost all aspects of this particular video, a lot of natural light coming into the building itself. Moving on to radiology, high-tech radiology obviously needed, high-end radiology needed for the type of procedures done here. That is a high-end CT scan that they have in the facility. Um, and, and something you won't see in many facilities in South Africa, that's a high-end three Tesla uh, MRI. Um, moving on to the coffee shop itself, tea, coffee, and, and any snacks that uh, you would like. Um, the video moves on to the fifth floor, uh, which is where the rest of the consulting rooms are that you're not finding on the fourth floor itself. And then to the sixth floor where you find the, the theater complex. Again, as I said before, um, the theater complex is made up of five theaters. Currently one is hybrid, but the facility is actually future-proofed as Estian said, so they've actually built um, all eight theaters, but they're only operating five at the moment. And, 
they've also future-proof the rest of the facility. So it's 100 beds, um, but can, it can be expanded to 160 beds without changing the, the footprint of the facility itself. Another theater that's pre-op. Another theater um, that's post-op. And then, and then again, very important to the workflow of a hospital uh, is to have the theater complex as the same floor as the wards. So you don't want a sick patient who's coming straight out of the theater to be going to a lift, maybe sharing a lift with patients and going up and down the facility. So from a workflow perspective, well-designed, ensuring that the wards uh, are in the same level as a theater complex. And uh, you find that you can come out of theater and go straight into ICU and high care uh, from a theater complex. Quickly moving on to the pediatric ward, ICU, call button for the patients if they need a nurse, pediatric ICU, high care, the nursing station from, from high care. And then an important feature, again, um, as I said before, a lot of natural light. I mean, my first five years of working were in hospitals, so I know the hospital environment well. Majority of high care and ICUs you see throughout the country is in, in almost in the basement of the dungeon with almost no natural light. So this is very different to what you would typically find in another facility. Another ICU bed. High care bed. Moving to the wards. A typical surgical ward. Um, I think for you tax, tech savvy people, this is a very good feature that you find in this hospital. All the TVs are, are Chromecast enabled. Um, so you can connect to the TV through your iPad or your iPhone and watch anything that you would typically watch in your mobile device, whether it's Android or iPhone. Um, so you can easily watch from this particular TV by connecting to it, uh, the likes of Net Netflix, Showmax, um, even DSTV and the likes of YouTube. Typical award. It's a view from the fifth floor. Um, the facility has about 15 consulting rooms. Uh, this is the typical look and feel of a consulting room. So you have the reception desk in the front and some chairs where the patients can sit. And then behind the glass door, you typically have a consulting room uh, with one or two procedure rooms um, that the doctor can use to do minor procedures like removing sutures. Again, each doctor can change the look and feel of the reception area according to their particular tastes. Um, pediatric ward with a nice look and feel for the kids. Back to the fourth floor. Something you won't typically find in, in, a, in a South African uh, hospital environment um, is a robotic pharmacy. So this particular facility has a robot um, that is able to pack all the necessary um, whether it's drugs or, or, or drip sets or whatever for for the for, for not only the theater complex but for the wards for the wards as well. So after the the robot has packed it, it goes and shoots and goes to that particular aspect of um, um, of the hospital itself. So not a typical thing you'd find in uh, in a South African hospital. There you'll see the IT platform that drives the robot. And then now you'll see that the robot kind of marching down the aisle, um, packing the different stuff that's required. Pathology. And then as I said before, on the seventh floor, um, you have areas where either patients um, or, or relatives can sit, have something to meal, uh, have something to eat, uh, have a chat, or just have you know fresh air instead of being cooped up in a hospital environment. Uh, and then the doctors and nursing outside area is, is, is separated from the from the patient and the and the visitor area. A meeting room. 
moving into the kitchen of the hospital, including the laundry of the hospital. And this is the hospital plant room on the seventh floor. Security, um, offering the latest IT CCTV cameras um, to all four corners of the hospital. Visual view of the plant room, of the, of the, of the plant, a closer view. And then something, again, that you will not find um, normally in the South African hospital environment. So um, this particular facility is able to produce its own oxygen. It's producing oxygen uh, at, a, at a purity level of 95%, which is more than acceptable for, um, for, for a healthcare environment. Um, it produces the oxygen via a mechanism known as pressure swing absorption, which is a fancy term by saying that it's taking, it's taking um, ambient air and drawing out the oxygen. Now, this became very relevant in the COVID-19 environment where there was, there was a severe shortage of oxygen, especially during the, second, uh, during the first and second waves um, of the COVID-19 pandemic. So this facility is in a good space where it's not reliant on the likes of Afrox and can um, produce its own oxygen for its patients. More views of the plant room. Uh, this is the HVAC system that, that um, goes to the individual um, theaters. And then the video kind of closes out with an aerial 360 view of the healthcare facility itself. 